Section 4. You will hear a lecture given by a professor about the behavioral traits of primates. First, you have some time to read through questions 13 to 17. Now listen carefully and answer questions 13 to 17. Hello everyone. Last class, we learned a bit about the evolution of the gorilla over time. For today's talk, I'll focus on other primates by looking at the behavioral traits of several individual species. First, let's look at the behavior of different primate species in terms of food availability. Now all primates eat both insects and plants, but some species have developed a strong preference for fruits and leaves. The chimpanzees of the Congo rainforest, for example, have an abundance of fruits and leaves to choose from. These primates are interesting because they use rocks as tools to crack open nuts. Then they gather together in their nesting areas after collecting food. In contrast, baboons live in the savanna or grassy flatlands where fruits and other edible plants are rare. To compensate for a lack of edible plants, baboons often use long blades of grass to catch ants as a food source. So, climate can significantly affect the behavior of primates. The orangutans of Sumatra, for example, spend long days gathering food in the jungle. And after that, They spend nights cooling off, staying away from predators, and sleeping in the branches of trees. The bonobos of Central Africa also have to cope with the weather and endure cool nights. One way they do this is by sleeping together in nests to help keep one another warm. This is also reason why they are known for being markedly social, along with their habit of helping one another out with the care of infants. Furthermore, squirrel monkeys are also known to use jungle canopy as shade when it's too hot to forage. The macaques of Japan and primates living in the mountains of North Africa, on the other hand, have the opposite problem to contend with. Fiercely cold winters mean they must regulate their metabolisms or gather together in hot springs for warmth. So, as you can see, there is much diversity among primate species. In terms of behavioral traits, however, there can be overlap as well, such as with their mating rituals, which we will look at in a moment. But before I move on to that topic, I'll take any questions you might have. You now have fifteen seconds to check your answers. <laughs> 